Hi guys, it's me Danielle Danny Button and my life is still hectic. New video intro. Hey, hey. So we're still in the, I mean, out of office, still on my beautiful table here. So I decided I would do my monthly not coloring video today and I'm going to do some magazine culling because basically that's really what I want to do and I thought that'd be a good idea. So first I'm going to explain to you what I do and then I'm going to put my 30 minute timer back on and do it because I think that's a good length video. I'm not sure what I'm even going to talk about, possibly just what I see in the magazines. But basically I have really gotten into um, glue booking, as you can call it, which is basically collage of random magazine images, book images, whatever you want to put in there. My style right now is basically all flat images. I know a lot of people will put different types of ephemera, different like ribbons and all that fun stuff. But so far for me, I've been doing all flat photos and words, things like that. So I have a bunch of different magazines and I'm gonna talk about where I got these magazines. Also I'm realizing, is my address on any of these? Uh, Sam, you get me post-its? Do I wanna just rip the covers? I almost, I almost exposed my whole self. I don't even have scissors. What type of plan is this? Hold on, ripping off some covers. This was from the library, so that's not my address. So that one we didn't have to worry about. But let's not expose ourselves this way. This one is not library. And then these come. Yeah, okay, so that's that. Basically, I'm gonna tell you how I do it, what I do, and then I'm gonna literally show you. So this is my basket of supplies. As you can see on top is basically a whole bunch of, what are you guys called? Like Chipotle napkins that I keep saving from every time we get Chipotle because they give them to us in the delivery because again, we're not eating in restaurants or anything. So what I do when I'm cutting up my images is I will take a napkin like this and lay it out and then put all my little scrap pieces and cutoffs into it while I'm cutting and then I just roll it up and recycle it because these are also paper and it just helps me get all the little bits and bobs so I keep that on top then I have five different baskets hold on here's a variety of glue sticks that I've just thrown in here again while we're displaced I have my exacto knife and I have five different baskets at the moment. So I have three small ones. This is small fussy cut images. So like circles and perfume bottles and even some people, a foot that stepped on some Lego. So that's all small cut up images. This is all of my words. So I just, the world needs you eat and drink, whatever, hello beautiful, cheese. And then this one is all square images that are smaller. So again, from all these magazines, some of them are teeny tiny and some of them are just big enough to fit in here. So that's the small ones. And then the big ones, I have big squares and rectangles. These are all cut square. Again, um, I could always cut these down more later, but for now that's what fits in here. So I can cut that in half, make two, do whatever you need to do. And then the last one is my larger fussy cut images, which I don't have too many of. So ping pong paddles. I got this bear, this jar of gummy worms, fun stuff like that. This is a knife into some lemon slices and I didn't know how I would be using it yet so I didn't finish fussy cutting it because I might just use the knife itself. Got a little bent up but it'll get unbent in gluing. So those are my five baskets and the supplies that I keep around for this. Let me put my glue sticks back instead of melting them onto my body. So now here are my magazines. I was just gonna tell you a few different ways I've got magazines. So these I subscribe to. I subscribed to all of these, in fact. Um, as I've been mentioning in previous videos, right now, if you were to buy some of these magazines, like Vogue says it's $8 in stores, do the rest of you have prices? I don't know if the rest of them have prices, but some magazines these days are like $16 or something 
absurd in my opinion and I do not want to pay that so if you go on Amazon you could subscribe and get like 10 issues for five dollars or something like that so overall I probably subscribe to like 10 magazines for maybe sixty dollars but I should be getting like over a hundred issues of the magazines so that's what I did so I have Vogue, Travel and Leisure, Women's Health, and L. I actually have not cut up any of these three yet. I've cut up Women's Health before. Um, I've also received magazines. My cousin works at a beauty salon and she has gotten me the old magazines from there before. So if you know people at salons or like doctor's offices or anywhere they keep magazines in their lobbies, then you could always ask them if they have extras before they throw them out. And then these magazines, these two, were actually from my library. Currently, our library, you can't go inside yet, but usually they have a cart outside of like free things to take. I guess they can't have library sales either. So they just have a cart out there and you can donate and take stuff. So they've had stacks of old magazines there. So Sam sometimes goes by when he picks up holds and he looks for magazines for me. So I just picked up two exciting ones. He got a bunch of bride magazines and they've been some of my favorite. And then these dogster ones are just adorable. And then this, National Geographic, I now subscribe to them, but I actually got a whole lot of them on eBay. I think it was like $10 for 12 of them or something. And again, these were, this might be one I subscribe to if I'm looking at it, because it's from October and I definitely subscribed by them. But they have lots of magazines on eBay and there are a whole variety of prices and I thought it was a good deal and this was when I was first getting into it so I needed things at the time so now I have too too much and I'm very behind which is another reason I wanted to do this so let's go let's put on our timer that's not where our timer is this is where it is can you see it 30 minutes wham bam all right so what I do is again I probably go through all of my magazines at least twice like I don't just go through and throw them out I don't know what I want to do first. I'm gonna go through this dogster because it's gonna be cute and I'm excited. So first round when I go through, I just look and I'm like, oh, so this is where the library has their um, address on there or whatever. So they ripped that out and I might go through and I'll be like, this is cute. And then on the back, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna cut this dog out for certain. And then I just rip this whole page out and I put it in a stack. And I usually put face up the image that I definitely want. So I'll cut this first and then I'll look at everything else. And it looks like those two should be clear of each other. But I'll make that decision when I'm at the cutting stage. And oh, that dog does not look as happy. So I look for words. I look for images to cut out entirely and then I look for square images like I said you saw my containers and I go through multiple times so you might be like oh man that dog's really cute but maybe I'll skip it this time and then next time I'll go and pick him so don't worry if I skip anybody so the problem with magazines is that obviously like a lot of their stuff that's really cool is advertisements but they'll have like things over it. Like that's a cute picture, but then their advertisement is on top. I actually really like this book. I'm not sure how I'm gonna cut it out, but I'm gonna tear it out. And let me tell you, as someone who is very like particular about my belongings, I've always been very like kind to my books and things like that. It is very freeing to rip things. Let me tell you, I kind of really like the word obsessions. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the, the dogster out of it, but yes. Sometimes with words, I'll go in and exacto just the word, but I'm sure I can maybe cut out some kebabs too. And I don't know when or if I'm gonna use these items, but I just put them in my little buckets and go from there. It's so hard not to just want to fussy cut out every single one of these dogs. <gasps> Look, this is before it's time. This is from July, 2017. They have those, like that's such a pretty dog picture. I'm gonna cut him out. Ugh, that's so cute too. I feel like this one's good because you can definitely like cut that out with the toys or fussy cut him. So also my doggy takes next guard, so. 
<sighs> this is just gonna be me ripping out every page of this magazine. Best summer toys for every age. Interesting. Do you give your pets medication whenever they need, what? <laughs> I don't know. Whenever she's prescribed medication, don't be a nuisance. I think I've cut out that dog before, so I'm gonna, I really like these um, watermelon. So, some training troubles. Super cute. I also have a few issues of Catster. So also with these ones, I don't usually read them if I'm gonna be honest, because these are years old and whatever. But if I find like a specific article that I'm like, oh my goodness, maybe I'll read one. But otherwise, not really. Um, some of my newer ones I'll read. I've been really enjoying, I get Food Network Magazine and they have like a monthly quiz in there. And that's been fun. Sam and I try to do the quiz. That dog is so cute. Oh my goodness. Why is this so cute? Why are these so cute? I think I'm gonna skip it for now though. Again, what I usually do after I go through, oh my goodness, look at them. After I go through once, I will put a post-it note on the front to indicate that I went through once. And then I'll go through one or two more times and then I'll be done. Sometimes after the second time I go through is when I'll go and like look for specific words I want or like very specific, like I'll look for the word, but if, you know what I mean? I, this dog is being sassy. Dogsters go to cities. Oh, he's there again. I'm gonna fussy cut him though. This book or magazine's fun because a lot of these are like sent in images. So it's like half professional dog pics and then half, look at that guy, oh, half sentence stuff. We have stayed in a hotel with noodles and it was not pleasant. I do not recommend taking noodles to a hotel. So, ugh. I really like that one and I obviously like that little guy. And then I really like this one. I don't really know how I'm gonna cut that though, but I'm going to try. If the image is really close to the edge, sometimes I'll take my X-Acto and like get up really close to the edge, but it's okay. Do what you love. I almost want to cut that out. See, Catster exists too. I might cut out do what you love, but specifically, because we're nearing the end. So then I just I take my X-Acto and usually I just cut it from the top and I'll just like swing around. Shoop. And then I'll put this in a different pile to deal with. So there we go, magazine number one. Look at that cutie. Can you see him? I hope the lighting is good because I basically obviously set it up, but then I'm looking at the magazines direct instead of through the camera because I need to see it. That is the cutest little like ferret. Are you a mink? What are you? Mink, wow. I know the difference between ferret and mink. <laughs> it's a bird, run away. Sometimes with um, the National Geographics, I will read them. Oh my. Sometimes National Geographic has a lot um, more serious stuff. Look at that cat. Earth or bust, a map for aliens. Ooh, what's interesting and also sometimes annoying with National Geographic is they're obviously known for their amazing photography. So they'll have like these cool double page pull out fun stuffs, but then that's like a lot of creases and stuff to work with. I'm definitely gonna cut this page out, but I'm now wondering if I should read this first. Hmm, Mickey and Minnie Bread, that's weird. I actually tend to like a lot of advertisements. I just think they use some crazy imagery, which is fun. So, let's see. I really just want this to use, like cut up and use as backgrounds, etc. So I'm gonna intentionally cut this one close to the edge if I can. I don't try too, too hard. I could always get out a, a ruler, things like that. But, boop. 
And then you have to be careful because I probably went through multiple pages, but it's okay. Ooh, sound booth health. That's cool. Ooh, what is that? I didn't know. Oh, bee! That's such a cute bee. Bite makes plant flowers. See, this is um, National Geographic has a lot of just like tiny paragraph ones, which are fun, but also make me want to read them. I'm just going to cut around this B, and then I get more specific after. I don't think I'll get to the cutting stage today, but if you want to see me do the next stage, let me know, and I can do a video on that too, which is basically I take out my paper cutter, and I'll cut any squares out and then I'll do my fussy cutting things like that it's always been fun too not always but it's been fun this week I've been bringing fussy cut images to my cousins and um cutting while we're watching tv and things like that so I've been getting through some of that why do I really like that it's just a purple man I think that's really cool. I'm going to leave it this time. Look at that. It's a unicorn and some socks. I want that unicorn. <laughs> um, I'm going to full page it. So for these images, I'm probably, after our half hour is done, I'm probably going to just cut these while watching TV with Sam. It's like 1030 at night. So... That's what our, whoa, dinosaurs. Um, this is just really, really pretty. So I'm gonna cut this out, but I'm gonna try to get close. I didn't do a good job. I did an okay job. Um, yeah, I'll just use my big cutter. Uh-oh, forgot bro, I cut through multiple pages. Oh, what the heck is that? This is what happens, I get distracted. On, okay. This is a really cool full page. Sometimes these full pages are nice if you have a smaller, like, um, composition book size, because this will take up basically the whole page, and that can be fun. Or like backgrounds, like you can have this as your main image, and then you can have like bugs invading the museum. You can do whatever you want with your book if you so choose to do one. It's just, again, sometimes it's just really freeing to cut into this stuff. And I don't know if I did a good job cutting. Let's try again. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Did we do it? Yes. So that's pretty. Or I can obviously keep that hole, or I can cut out just the dinosaur area. Whatever. We can do whatever we want. Ooh, how they moved. Like, isn't this stunning to look at, but difficult to cut out? Yes. Swimmers and flyers. I'm very upset to hear that dinosaurs may have had feathers. I mean, obviously, birds and dinosaurs are very similar, but I'm upset about it. Because I don't like birds. So. Eeyuch. How they hatched. This is just horrifying. No. Ooh, I really like these eggs. Ooh, I don't like that one. Colored eggs. I wonder why they were colorful. Also, somebody pinpricked those eggs, but I like them. So. Let's get to cut and do, 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 do. I don't know if this is interesting to anybody else, but I just think it's fun. How they grew. Oops, see, I cut this one basically completely off already. But again, this is, would be cutting them in half if I chose to. Like, I could probably get that guy, but mm. I always forget to look for words. The Bride magazine is sometimes good for words, so. Ooh. I see evolution of feathers. I don't want them to have feathers. I'm upset. I think that I've gotten like three or four of these so far and they're like all bird themed and I'm upset about it. So, birds, rude, stolen lives. Oh, this is also a very 
negative subject that I don't think I'll be able to find much from. So I'm just going to skip through it pretty quick so we don't get depressed or flagged for showing such information. Jeez, that's a long article. Ugh. Saving raptors. Okay. See, look at all the bird content. Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. Run. That might be the end for this one. I think that is the end. Let's just... Our trail, our legacy. A pup. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's enough of that. I've also been cutting out all these geckos from the Geico ads there's so many of him and i'm gonna just like collage a whole page of him but all right that wasn't our most successful endeavor but i got a few pages out of it so on to the next this is the bride magazine apparently from april may 2018 and i've had good luck in these so hopefully this is the same Sometimes I'll like cut out the ladies, but not always. Also in the future, not in this go through, I might end up taking pages like this just to use as like solids for backgrounds. I'm thinking of getting another big bucket to have more solids because every once in a while I'll try to be filling up the whole page and there'll be like a tiny little bit and I'll just wanna like shove a solid in there instead of finding a whole new picture, so. This is when I need to remember to look for words too. I think I've cut out that ring specifically, so I won't on this run through blush. Like even this is nice colors, obviously. Tiffany blue, wow, that's a crazy necklace, okay. I'm always like, especially with weddings, I feel like weddings, you're most likely to actually see people use, like wear these types of things. But some of it is very extravagant. So these ads are cool. Of course, I'm like, I have such good luck with these and I haven't picked anything yet, but I'm sure it's also the pressure of doing it on camera. You know how that is if you have a channel. I guess time to suit up might be fun. Yeah. Let's get something going. Time to suit up. So the words, I just pick really random stuff and I just throw them on there. And sometimes I find ones that make sense with what I'm doing and sometimes I don't. And I just use it to fill up space. But again, as with most things I do, it's more about the process. engaged for a day there's also a lot of really nice um resort pictures in the bride magazines which makes sense a lot of these pictures are super beautiful but i don't think on this run through i'm gonna pull them because i still have some left over from my life oh is that like a purple dress i like it oh, i like it Wow, that's like a body veil. That's pretty cool. Those flowers won't pay for themselves. Okay. I, of course, when I went wedding dress shopping, I think I picked like the second one I tried on because I always do that. When I dress shop, I'm like, I'm going to try on a bunch and not commit. And then I do. So... Womp womp. I've always heard that like dress models and things like that have a hard time finding their own dresses because they've been in all the fancy stuff before. I don't know if that's true. See, I like some of these girls to cut out because like there's nothing on her, but I did not know. Of course, I'm just gonna have really bad luck since we're on camera. It fits your finger and holds your heart. I might cut that out. And then I might cut out like heart or hold your heart or something. Why not? Why not? Will you? 
No. Whoa. Those are very different colors. To each their own. Like, this is just already pretty. <laughs> Should I have like vetted these before I did them on camera? Maybe. I mean, I'm chatty. We're only down to 10 minutes left. So sometimes I'll cut out like the shoe. Ooh, pearls. I've definitely cut out the words, the power of uniqueness before. Like, what is that? What's going on here? I don't know, but I don't think I like it. Okay. I know some people do like a crazy fashion books which could definitely be fun and you'd probably find some fun stuff in here right now I'm focusing first of all I never finished my Christmas glue book is anybody surprised no I might try to work on it more when I get back in the office because I had to leave all that in there there's just no way I could bring that in here and have enough space so unfortunate but um I my goal in my head was to only be working on two projects at a time because I know I'm very good at starting things and not very good at finishing things. So I didn't want to just like start book after book after book. I'm either going to have to retire my Christmas book or finish it and then I might start something else. See, I cut out a lot of cakes. This hasn't been the best issue. I'm very upset right now. I might just go fast and then get to the next one. I guess I could just go straight to the next one. What if all the good stuff is in these last 20 pages? I feel like it is. Ugh, we'll keep going. Like, look at how pretty that is. Wow. Wow. Cut out some of that cake for certain. Whose stuff wins? Ugh. Like, do men actually do this? Mm. I guess some, obviously, but I don't know. That's This thing is fun. <sighs> the chatting is mega miss sleepy. One happy wedding, one happy honeymoon. This is weird. What's happening here? I don't I love balloons, but I don't know what this is. Ooh, those are fun shoes. Mm, no. I was thinking about it. Just married. I was like, oh, this all would have been great. I would have made a whole wedding book if this was before my wedding. But after it seems a little bit sillier to have the whole theme book. Obviously, I'm been including pictures, but pajamas. That baby is sleeping. Like that's pretty too. What kind of like persimmons or something going on there? I wish we had fancier, like more stylized pictures from our wedding. We do not, which is unfortunate. Ooh, the cat. The cat looks terrified. What? Why does it look like her head is on backwards? That's freaking me out, too. Those shoes are weird. Okay. I think I'm just becoming more judgmental than enjoying this book. Ugh. Push to pop confetti. Yeah, that was a huge bust. Upsetting. Women's health. All right. Come on, women's health. Give us something good. I've definitely cut these before, but I like them. So I'm going to cut them again. I like science. So I like science stuffs. cut this out before oh I really like that teacup is that weird see I like these advertisements sometimes I'll cut these out 
even for my Christmas book. I wonder if I have those. I don't know. I like both the word warm up and this cup. Let's see if we can rip it nice. Yeah. Is it weird? I like the pistachios. Hmm. Hmm. Because I kind of like the pistachios. What the heck is that? How is this about? I don't know. This is somehow racism related, but I don't know how. So let's skip that for now. I like this dress. I love when they have these fun little illustrated pictures. I like the handle with care and the hand. Because <laughs> you can either have handle with care cut out like a square or you can cut them into strips. Winning winter skin. See, that's, I think, the bottle I've cut out before. Those are just fun spritz bottles, too. I'm definitely one of those people that falls for packaging. So, embarrassing, maybe? I don't know. I do not know. Advertisements. Oh, my. Palm. I literally thought she had ice cream, but she has something. Looks like a weight. Three pound weights. All right, let me tell you. I don't understand aesthetic weights. Like, come on now. What does it say? $55 for a pair of three pound weights. You can get three pound weights at five below for $3 each. But I'm just saying. I like those words. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, ah! Cut it real close. I honestly like Stays Put. And I kind of like this purple. Total control. I like that. You could also see the quality of the paper with the quality of the tearing. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's a really big image, though. I'm gonna keep that for now. Oranges. I already ripped something out of the middle of here, and that's weird. Because I didn't post it this. So I don't know what that's about. What the heck are you guys? It looks like many eggs. But I don't... Is it eggs? Huh. Probably figure out how to cut out those oranges. Ooh, a banana peel. Germ fighters. Lobster claws. That's, that's what I was looking for. This is the sweetness revolution. Sure. People. Immer immersion in emergencies my words got stuck and then i tried to be funny Ooh, it's a <sighs> rubik's cube all of my words have left okay i apologize they're gone though this i've cut out before and i probably will again talk it out i like serenity now i just love her neon outfit a lot of neon outfits. These are very big images though. Solution seekers. I feel like I've worked from this book before, but I'm very, ooh, jump rope. I really want a jump rope, is that weird? I might get like, ooh, I tapped the monopod, a fitness jump rope because my uh, weight company my scale is like oh we have a fitness jump rope out now and I'm like huh so I'm thinking about it 
that was that one. We only have two minutes left, but we will start in the next one, I guess. Travel and Leisure, the America issue. Here for a good time. I really like those words. So I might cut out this golfer too. A lot of people do uh, black and white journals, so that would be good for that. And of course, like, that's why I go through or keep the magazines and go through them at least twice because you can think of different projects for different things. I have like a file folder um, portfolio thingy that I can keep different project ideas in if I so choose. Whoa. Why do I like that so much? It says it's in uh, page 25 too, so I might see if there's a bigger one. But, ooh, like it's just so pretty. I really want to do like a cabin one day. I've never, I think I'd be afraid to, so I don't know. I do not know. I want to do a cabin with a bunch of people. So back when that's available again, that would be fun. Like, that's really pretty. Guitars. Dear Boston, she's back. I don't know where she went or who she is, but she's back now. I wish I was swimming. On the road again. See, like, that's so cute, but why is it right in the middle? I guess I could try to cut it out, but mm, skipping it for now. Again, a lot of these magazines I just subscribed to and I haven't even gone through them yet as you're seeing. So this was one of them. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep subscribing to it, but again, I got probably 12 issues for $5 instead of uh -oh, like $8 for one issue. That's our 30 minutes. So I guess I am done. I just blew half of my stack onto the floor next to me, but I still have a bunch left. So the next step will be to go through and cut these up. So again, I'll start on the thing I definitely knew I wanted, and then I will look at the rest of the page and see if there's anything else I want. I'll look around for any words, like I might do dreaded. I might do the word dogs, whatever it may be. And then I recycle what I do not use. So that was part of my process for this. Hopefully you enjoyed this a little bit, or if not, you're understanding that times are still weird here. And again, I've mentioned that I'm definitely planning on doing one to two videos a month that are not coloring related, just to give you a little taste of everything else that I do. So that was it for this month. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you made it to the end, what should we say? Let's say pansy. That's a weird one. Let's say pansies. Yes, place a pansy at the bottom of each slot of an ice cube tray. Oh my, should you eat pansies? I don't know, <laughs> but yes. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Subscribe if you haven't, I'm a fun time. Comment down below anything you wanna comment, like this video, and I'll see you again in two days with something different. Bye guys.